Hello YouTubers and Merry Christmas! Welcome to a new video of Arepas for Dinner. So, in today's video, I bring you Czech Christmas. As you know, I'm Venezuelan, my name is Andrea, I'm from Venezuela, but I live in Prague, the Czech Republic. My husband is from the Czech Republic and every other year we spend Christmas here in the Czech Republic. So this is going to be my second year in Prague and I want to let you know a little bit about Czech traditions in Christmas. So, first of all, my favorite topic, food. So I'm going to insert here what we ate in Christmas Eve. Right now I'm in my house, so I haven't ate yet, but I'm going to insert the video once I have so you can see it now. So when we arrived, we started with these, some cold cuts in cheeses, as well as some tomatoes. Then we also had some shrimps. Jan's mom prepared a yogurt sauce. We also had sweet and sour and fig sauce. Then there was this rolly thing made out of cheese and ham and those are gooseberry, Cape gooseberry, I think they're called, they're from Peru. And these are green olives and black olives. Now here you can see the fish that is going to be fried in this frying machine. They literally just have a frying machine for this, for this specific day. Okay, this is the soup that we eat. This is made for the, with the insides of the fish. Now my husband is pouring it to me. It was very tasty. We also sometimes uh, can add some croutons to the soup. Some people don't like what you put inside the soup, but I really enjoy it. This is a potato salad, very typical here in Czech, made with potatoes and pickles and carrots as well, and some egg and mayonnaise. And here is the carpa, fried carpa, that is fried in the deep fryer. You just add some lemon and you eat it like that, very simple. What we eat is a fried fish called carp. Carp is a sweet water fish that is eaten during Christmas and it's like a very simple food because Czech tradition, you're supposed to not eat in the, in the entire day. And Christmas is a day of like humbling yourself, at least here. So that's why you have the Czech potato salad and then you have fried, fried fish the less fancy food that you can. Then on the 25th of December is that you eat the more fancy food. So you can eat some goose or you can eat duck as well with dumplings. But on the 24th, so in Christmas Eve, the food is very simple compared to other cultures. And this came from very, very old times. So we start with the old traditions. So in the old times, people were fasting all day in order to see a golden pig that they would see at the end of the day, just before the Christmas dinner. And then in the Christmas dinner, they will also, many families, set an extra plate just in case somebody needed to grab some food. So it was kind of this connection with giving and not trying to be fancy and not trying to be like, like everybody else in the world that, you know, we all try to have these amazing, super over-the-top Christmas dinners. Well, here is the opposite. is supposed to be like a humbling dinner, and that's very beautiful. Also, second tradition that is very, very nice. In Christmas Eve is where Santa Claus, but in this case, Jishishek or Little Jesus, brings the presents to the kids. So instead of being the 25th, like we are used in the majority of countries, on the 24th, some bells will ring, like, and then the kids will leave and the, and the presents will appear because Jishishek or Baby Jesus have brought the presents. When the communist times, when the Russians took Czech Republic, they tried to kind of abolish everything that had to do with the religious. That's one of the reasons why you don't find many religious people in the Czech Republic and majority of people haven't been even baptized for generations. Despite that, they still celebrate Christmas and many of them even go to the Christmas Mass, which is very interesting. But one of the most interesting things is that the Russians trying to introduce a character called Father Snow or Father Frozen, something like that. Father Froze, I think it was, and that was the one who was supposed to bring the presents to the kids. But Czechs didn't like it and they stick with Jezishek or Baby Jesus, which I love it because I'm Venezuelan and for us, yes, we have San Nicolás, that is your Santa Claus, or we also have um, Baby Jesus, Niño Jesús, how we call it. Also, like in any other country, 
everybody exchange presents. So the Christmas dinner will start super early. It will start around 6 p.m. You gather in one of the houses and the Christmas dinners don't usually involve a lot of people. I'm talking about like your aunts and uncles and cousins, none of them are gonna be there. So usually the Christmas dinners are just like the grandparents, the parents and the kids, or just the parents and the kids. So they're like very, very uh, like small gathering and everybody exchange presents within the night. Um, for us, for example, in Venezuela, in my house, we exchange presents after midnight, which is not the case here. Here, you might have dinner around 7 p.m. and just after dinner, you're gonna exchange the presents. And then finally, relating to food, once again, you have um, two more things that are worth mentioning. One is for desserts, you have sushenki, or these like Christmas cookies that everybody makes around the Christmas time. I even make my own sushenki, not all of them. I just make vanilla be roslitski, roslitski. And I'm gonna leave a link somewhere at the end of the video so you can watch the video. But that's what you're gonna have for dessert. And then for drinks, they don't have one special drink that they have during Christmas. So in Christmas, you can have something like Aperol Spritz or you can have some champagne, but for sure you're gonna have shots because Czech people love having their shots. They have Slivovica and they have these other liquors that they really like shooting. Put in here some Slivovica. This Slivovica is from a friend of my brother-in-law. They say it's extremely strong because she is from a town. 60%. So 60% Slivovica. Yeah. So we're gonna give that a try. It's homemade. Very important here in Czech Republic, you have a lot of homemade. I told you guys about the shots. I told you that was gonna happen and it's happening. So that's it. Now I'm ready, as you can tell. I'm ready for my Christmas dinner and I see you guys next with the next video on I believe it's gonna be Tuesday I usually publish on Tuesday but I'm coming back from the ski trip on Monday and it's gonna be the video of how to plan a ski trip here in, in Europe so uh, we're gonna go to El Tirol and that's gonna be very very interesting and very very nice we're going to Bargastein and we're gonna be filming everything from where to rent the skis here in Prague to you know, the, the, the road trip in the car, absolutely everything is gonna be there. So I know you guys are gonna enjoy it. So we're coming back on Monday and I hope I'm gonna have the video ready on Tuesday, but if not, for sure on Wednesday, it's gonna be completely out. So that was it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Merry Christmas. Bye. Hide them, hide them, tiddly dum, hotovo.